Yeah, so Indiana University, is, we actually have eight campuses throughout the state of Indiana. We have, I think, about 115,000 students, and we have about 20,000 staff, and we have a pretty large IT operation there as well. Probably for the last decade, we've been um, deploying applications to um, virtual machine environments using a, you know, a number of custom scripts that we've kind of like hacked together over the years. Um, we're, we're really wanting to, to provide an environment that is based around containers and Docker to help us deliver um, those applications in a better fashion and more quickly. I guess I would say our, our vision is to provide the best possible education experience to the students that come to the university. And really, in the modern day, you can't do that without world-class IT. What we liked about Docker was that it gave us much more flexibility, and it was more, it was more like the foundation that we really wanted to build on. And I'm really excited about the new stuff that was shown today, I, th I think, um, about the security scanning. You know, the data security is a huge, huge thing that we, that we're, that we um, need to pay attention to. And as we've been building out the Docker data center environment, we're paying attention to all aspects of security as much as possible. We've got it hooked into our LDAP, so that's really nice to be able to quickly provision access to it. And the role-based access control is really slick too. So you know, we can give people, we can give people access, like read-only access to their containers in production. So they can see what's going on, but we don't give them the ability to like redeploy and things like that. You know, we've we've got the universal control plane installed um, and working, and we got the trusted the Docker trusted registry. We get to work with Docker as Docker rather than some abstraction on top of it, and it, it gives us all the power that we that we um, that we get as a result of that. So that was that was definitely a, a factor in our decision to to use Docker Data Center. It's easy to make things complex, it's really hard to make things simple. So you can tell that the people who have worked on Docker um, have really strived to make it as simple as possible and really straightforward to understand and learn. You know, the, the initial learning curve is not that steep and that, that's really, I think that's awesome.